Normally I cut out the PS3 boot up when I stream PS3 games, which is increasingly often. Although usually it's not PS3 games, it's PS1 and 2 games that the PS3 just emulates rather well. Ah, oh, the PS3 had so many great ideas, good design choices, no actual games on it. Which is pretty much its downfall. I am fairly certain the Warriors is still accessible on the PS3 game store. It's a pain in the ass to get money onto your PS3 accounts. Took me forever and, once again, generous contributions from Pizzerato. Y'all don't even know how much of this channel you owe specifically to Pizzerato. But if you can get money onto your account, I do think that you can access basically the entire PS3 library. Fortunately, the game's coming through cleanly for everyone else. I'm not so lucky on my end. I'm getting no audio. It's super weird. Oh, I know. I figured it out. Normally I don't do this live, but... Circumstances have necessitated. We're good. Let's go right into... Not the video. Video is unrelated. We're seeing maximum dithering and minimum, like, screen smoothing. Normally I apply the screen smoothing filter. Vigilante 8 music. We'll try out a new track. I've been told to try out Naughty Bear. Apparently it's very similar to Manhunt. If you're into that sort of thing, like cutesy Manhunt, I know it's T-rated. But there's still a lot of violence against teddy bears. We want a deathmatch. On... Obviously, Minion's Maze would be the best choice. We recently saw the bedroom. I mean, any of these, I'm gonna die. We'll start with the carnival. Not five enemies. Not gonna go above and beyond. I am not going to choose a boss vehicle. I think Calypso is pretty powerful. And it would be appropriate to put Calypso up against so many enemies, but General Warthog is probably the strongest vehicle in the game. Uh, didn't let me choose enemies. How do I choose enemies? Oh yeah, I tried to do this before. I couldn't figure it out. Do I have to Game Shark this sucker? A load up on sweet suits. Interesting. Ah, apparently, Naughty Bear, despite being T rated, is quite grim and disturbing. That would explain why people wanted me to play it. People love and do grim, disturbing stuff. I've been meaning to get several PS3 games before it uh, shuts down, and a recent update apparently made the PS3 store inaccessible for at least a brief period of time. I think that got fixed, and I know for a fact I didn't download that update anyway. But in order to go to the shop, I probably would have to download the update, and that might, ironically, ban you from going to the shop. 
I don't know why they're updating the PS3. I think the Xbox 360 still gets updates, but they're not actively trying to break the Xbox 360. Scare the bears into suicide. It doesn't even really make sense. But if you're trying to be an edgy, weird, violent game, seems like the thing you might try to go for. I mean, we know PlayStation can basically ban a game. If you purchase it digitally, they can just delete all access to it. Because that's what happened with PT. They eventually were basically able to disable all working copies of PT from legitimate use. At this point, really, the only way to still play PT is to have never connected to the internet again after downloading it. So, I feel like they wanted to get rid of anything. They simply could. The digital era is an era of not actually owning anything. I think some enemies were near the uh, roller coaster, ready to die. Unfortunately, due to my lack of preparation, I have absolutely no idea how to force even a single Sweet Tooth into combat, much less multiple Sweet Tooths. Sweet Teeth, one might say. There's four enemies, and we got the two that look the same. Because, of course... So I am in a deathmatch. It didn't give me the opportunity to choose enemies. Oh, deathmatch settings. Okay, let's give this a shot. It's going to be a bloodbath. But it's overdue. What I have heard is they finally did enough PS4 updates that PT is legitimately unplayable if you have updated to the most recent, uh, most recent patch. Oh, is that the options menu? Here we go. Chosen world, whatever. Difficulty hard is obviously a good idea. Let's try construction yard as has been advised, but I can always try other spots. I still think Warthog's gonna be the best choice because everyone else is just gonna melt into an embarrassing little fluid. Against Sweet Tooth. One. Two. Three. And four. Sure, save those settings. So, yeah, this is probably not going to go well. But if it does, I will be surprised. Let's find out. Normally, I can barely beat one Sweet Tooth in, like, legitimate combat. Got minions on me. Better use of the hyperspace, at least. The game can barely handle it. 
and the minions just go right through walls. We only get one life, because of course. That did not go especially well. <laughs> I feel I need a level where I can... Oh. Well, try Neon City. Maybe we'll just go through the entire game level list. See if I fare any better on any of these levels. Can't fare much worse, that's for sure. Hyperspace wouldn't really save me right now. But I needed to save me, and it sort of did. Temporarily detached me from all the minions. Very temporarily. The Merv baby got me eventually. I thought I disabled advancing levels after each death, but here we go. We are advancing some levels. This might be my fastest playthrough of all of uh, Listed Metal 4. Certainly not my most successful. Probably got minions coming our way. Yep, there's a minion. Here's where I wanted to be. Because I might still be able to do the proxy mine trick. Oh god. That's so many minions. I want to see what happens if I hit a turbo pad while I have minions on me. But I can't move, so... I can't do anything. There's too much slowdown. There, I hit a, a turbo pad. I achieved all my goals. So setting this to hard difficulty was obviously a very, very bad idea, and I knew it would be. We'll do one loop through the game on hard difficulty, and I probably won't get anywhere. But we'll see. This level feels like it will be especially bad. It's certainly not going very well. As of yet. Oh, free shots. That's a perfect addition. If I'm not mistaken, when they initially designed this boss, one of the heads did just constantly shoot out free shots. They had to nerf that because, dear God, that would just guarantee if you got touched, you wouldn't even be able to teleport out. You're just dead. I did briefly get to set up a little bit of a strategy two levels ago. Now I can't even seem to do that. As soon as you get tethered, you're kind of done for. As is the point of this particular boss. Bounce pad is having a hard time with everything that's going on. But everything in the game is having a hard time with everything that's going on. Sweet Tooth is too much. <laughs> they overdid it on this guy. So we're coming up on the end of the game. Just this level, which is probably going to destroy me. Instantly frozen. Not even giving me a chance to play. And I've been frozen ever since. There. We froze each other. That's pretty solid. Imagine if I could do, like, the freeze bomb trick.
If only. Let go. Things are all over my case. Still alive, barely. More and more minions are coming. Me almost incapable of movement. I didn't fall to my death, so there's that. But I'm gonna die anyway. <laughs> I lasted longer there. That's better than expected. Oh, the maze. If I can get to the lightning. I won't be able to kill them, but I'll be able to hurt them all. Very badly. I'm incredibly far from the lightning. And as soon as the minions start coming, I will have no way to navigate this maze. I'll just get yanked in all sorts of random directions. Navigation of the maze is atrocious. All this time I spent with this game. Still can't figure out how to get from one part of the maze to the others. Because they all look the same. So I always just bumble my way through. And eventually find where I need to be. I can't <laughs> control myself. Even slightly. The shield is extremely long, but... Oh, they froze me. I'm dead. The shield is super long, but the regeneration on your uh, energy is very, very, very slow. One of them died! That was my best performance to date, then. One Sweet Tooth kill out of four. I'm a quarter of the way there. Let's see how the level they're intended to appear in treats me. They might have home field advantage. Just maybe. Can't rule it out or anything. I should really just shield immediately as soon as I start one of these levels. But yeah, really the secret is survival. I don't actually have to do anything. All I need is for them to kill each other. With their mad spam of that special. This is something. Not much, though. No, I died the instant he unfroze, or uh, unshielded. And this is the highest armor vehicle that isn't a boss. You could go through the bonus levels. Some of them are gimmicky enough. He could actually kill the Sweet Tooths for me. But for the most part, I think... This is just... A death sentence. Yeah, the hard mode was definitely a bad idea. I just wanted to see the worst it could possibly be before legitimate attempts. Well, more legitimate attempts. I am doing my best here. Invisibility is not going to save me. So, thanks for trying. Energy moves. Oh, another death. Another quarter of the way there. But yeah, invisibility is down, down, up, up, whereas hyperspace is up, up, down, down. So it misread by first and second attempts as one attempt at invisibility. This level sucks. 
So let's finally rearrange the, uh, the rule set a little bit. Bring their aggression down, because the Twisted Metal 4 AI is actually pretty good on the higher difficulties. It's just you don't normally see the higher difficulties because you have to loop the game four times to see them. We'll make one legitimate attempt before Pizzerato has to go. Hopefully, we can squeeze this in. Um, construction yard, I wanted to do the maze. I felt I had a good chance on the maze. You know, the maze is disgusting. The worse the level, the better this is going to work. And there's no level worse than Minion's Maze. So all we've changed is the difficulty. We're on easy. This is how most people see the game, how it usually behaves. It's still very chaotic and rude. I immediately found where I was going, at least. Not lost in the maze this time. That's a good feeling. Come the minions. They certainly handled the lightning bolt like a champ. No one is hurting particularly bad. Their lowered aggression is making them kill each other less. Which could be an insurmountable detriment. Keep at it a little bit. Maybe if I can single them out, I'll only have one set of minions. And there's a very small cooldown between each launch of the minions, so... Might be doable. Might be able to get somewhere with that. I legitimately froze him there just so that I could make him not have fire on his head anymore. I want to fight a bald sweet tooth. No more, you fire headed sweet tooths. Hey, that's something. They're barely even trying to use their special. Which is very good for me. Easy mode might actually be too easy, weirdly enough. Not that I expect to win. Minions are still on their way. At any given time. But this is obviously a huge step down in chaos. Kinda wanna navigate back to the main maze. Space sort of helped. Didn't hurt as much as it could have. That ramp goes nowhere. This is the ramp we want. Okay, sweet tooth stuck in the air. Missed my chance to kill him. Gonna have to wait for. Lightning to come back. Surviving till that point should be doable, though. Probably won't even be much longer. But I feel the lightning would kill one of them. An actual legitimate defeat of a sweet tooth.
this is almost a legitimate defeat. Yeah! Quarter of the way there. And I did it legally. Baby's first real Sweet Tooth kill. I did fight Sweet Tooth legitimately back in the Let's Play, and that was the last time I did that. It was a bad idea. I demonstrated that it was a bad idea. Because that's what Let's Plays are for. Tell the world you've had a bad idea. Hey, just in time. The lightning's here. Up. Almost shield my way through it. Screw it. Got a stuck tooth. Prefer not to make him a loose tooth. But... That has freedom, as expected. So he can immediately get stuck again. What an embarrassment. See, I might have the most experience with this level of anyone currently attempting to do combat in it. Therefore, the best ability to react to all the garbage it's thrown at me. Those corners. They spell doom every time. Another lightning would kill more sweet tooths. But one of them is doing just fine. Whereas my resources are kind of dwindling. One of them's gone invisible. I am very surprised by how non-aggressive they're being. And the minions actually didn't go for me. I've never seen that before. Minions getting fired the wrong way and not automatically correcting it. Well, everyone's uh, cutting out for now. And we're at about typical stream length. So, we will get to the end of this attempt likely die. But I feel that we need to beat this challenge. Somehow, some way. This is clearly doable, but it's kind of embarrassing for everyone involved. So even if this works, I'm not going to call it a victory under the intent of the challenge. What I need to do is actually practice fighting Sweet Tooths. Just like I needed to practice Tiny Tank much more than I did. Tiny Tank also has an easy mode, which I might need to resort to. Just so we can see those cutscenes. They're really all that matters about that game anyway. Okay, we got a Sweet Tooth on my case. The least injured Sweet Tooth. It's injuring me. Quite effectively. I have to admit. And now I'm getting chain minioned. That's exactly what you don't want. Also, I just remembered that the special is not called Minions, it's called Henchmen. But Minions is funnier. Oh yeah, they're overtaking me. No energy for hyperspace, so... Okay, I'm alive, but... But why? <laughs> okay, that was a good proof of concept. This is doable, and I'll come back, and I'll try and find a way to actually do it. But the fact that I leapt into this with no preparation whatsoever is exactly why I failed miserably. This is one of the worst places to fight them. 
as, uh, yeah, they are going to team up. And they're going to swarm you with things that can kill you individually. Any one of these individual heads. Potentially lethal. All of them at once? Guaranteed lethal. So, that is four Sweet Tooths at once. In celebration of Twisted Metal 4. It would be appropriate if I were able to complete this challenge next week. But even that might be inadequate practice. We shall see. Thank you tremendously for the support. For showing up, everybody. Total blast. Had a great stream. Good times all around. Thank you for joining me. And have yourselves a good one.